Take a look at this. This is St. Barley's Church in Coventry. That sequence will be featured in a full report on the Church of England, which is coming up now. If you mention the Church of England to most people, they immediately think of the sacraments and the holy blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. But to many within the church, there is another ritual, the ritual of the bullying ritual. Ex-curate Peter Litterton was intimidated by his very first vicar. I went to the bathroom to wash after dinner and I found my flannel in the toilet. Another time, I went into the bathroom and all the bristles, bar one, had been cut off from my toothbrush. Another time he put bleach in my shaving cream and Mrs. Cape stifled a giggle. I see. This is St. Barley's Church in Coventry. Barley's vicar Bobby Skye is a former bully himself but has now decided to speak out. If a young deacon was being inordinated then during the inordination ceremony uh, we would hum during his sermon, so we would be going, mm, and he would be trying to speak um, and not knowing who was humming. How we, many we were, of you were humming? About 200 of us, 200 vicars, all going, mm. But while some are brave enough to speak out, others are still quietly being beaten up. Here in the vestry of St. Champs in Coventry, we secretly rigged up one of our cameras to record some bad ecclesiastical hurting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bishop, I'll do it again. I'm sorry, Bishop, I'll do it again. Why are you always being such an arse? Hmm? Hmm? Don't know, Bishop. I don't, I don't know, Bishop. I don't know. It's fully properly. Yes, Bishop. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I was collecting up the hymn books, books very well, these exact books. Yes. And I was stacking them like so. Yes. And I'd stacked up to my chin. I see. So I was at full, uh, really at full stretch with about 30 hymn books. And he said, come on, Peter, you can fit another one in there. I said, no, I, I can't, Reverend Cape, I really can't. And he pushed one in. He said, you can fit another one. I said, I can't. And he pulled my hair right back. Yes. And so my head was like this. I thought I, thought I, I was going to choke. And then he ran along this pew, like that, and threw the books, pick them up, pick them up. You do look a rather foolish boy, Paul. Clean it up, and we'll be back later. <laughs> the bullying has got to stop. Stop the bullying. Start taking care of your flock. Pick on someone your own size. God's bigger than all of us. And since we've recorded that report, everybody featured in it has lost their hair. <laughs>